James Duke Williams is rising back up the depth chart, second team. He's going to play a significant role in the Louisville game after being out of action for a week due to a discipline issue. Not totally unexpected that he is making this move, you know, two weeks before the season opens. No, not at all. I think after a week or so of getting back into practice, we had the, the ankle issue about a week ago. But after, if he, as long as he was going to be doing everything he was supposed to on and off the field, after a week of that, you knew that his talents would ultimately show out and he would start putting himself in position to again compete for a starting job. I think that's more or less expected. And we'll see if he ends up, quote unquote, starting and literally being there for the very first snap or right. not against Louisville. But that's going to be inconsequential. He's going to play, he's going to play a lot. And that's yes. the bottom line. And another guy who is going to play a little bit at one position and may end up playing at another potentially. A little bit. We, we heard a little bit about uh, Jonathan Wallace and the guy who transitioned from quarterback to receiver and now might be spending a little bit of time somewhere else too. Yeah, uh, Jonathan Wallace is, sounds like he's going to be Auburn's emergency quarterback or their third team quarterback. Uh, the coaching staff seems to want to redshirt Tyler Queen this season. No reason to throw him out there. And what they're looking at is the what-if scenarios. What if Jeremy Johnson gets injured? What if Sean White gets injured? Who's the next guy? And the next guy is going to be Jonathan Wallace, who has been at receiver for the last you know six months to a year. You know, he started the last four games of the 2012 season, 57.5% completion percentage. You know, he's not a stellar quarterback in the college level, but he's competent and he can run this offense. I'm really interested to see if they had to put him out there for a drive, how he would do, because he's been in the offense for four years now, really. You know, how would he do out there? And he can run. But, you know, we're, we're not going to see him unless it's an emergency situation this year. But but the, what they're doing now is they're going, Tyler, you're going to sit on the bench, you're going to learn. And Jonathan Wallace is last year. If we need a third guy, it's going to be Jonathan Wallace. And that's pretty typical for pretty much everywhere for how they want to handle the quarterbacks, especially freshmen come in. Very few freshmen, true freshmen, play immediately. We know that. And generally speaking, if you have one who's in that third third string spot, you want yes. to try and redshirt him. So having a, a capable guy, which this is only a contingency and emergency, and in that spot, if Auburn were to ever you know, have a situation where multiple guys went down, they'd be running the ball heavily anyway. Oh, they absolutely. would never be putting a quarterback out there in that position to throw a lot. Yep. But, you know, at that point, chances are the game may be in jeopardy and other things may be in play. So we'll see. But interesting to hear that they've put him back in that position. Otherwise, at practice today, uh, which is a little bit of a scrimmage with the young guys predominantly over at the stadium. Again, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, Auburn came back over here to the indoor for more of a traditional practice, but it was much more about the young guys. They have on special teams. Uh, we heard a little bit about punt return, kick return, still some things up in the air and uh, things to be sorted out there on the special teams front. But we'll have plenty more to come, and we will be looking ahead to Louisville, I know, in the next couple of days, just like Auburn will be looking ahead to Two weeks! We're so close. Two We're weeks. almost there. It's almost here. Two weeks.